Welcome back to Crap Mechanics. Today we have a very special episode where I take my new 2014 Focus ST to my first car meet. As a lifelong motorcyclist, this is my first time being exposed to car culture. It was brought to my attention that I forgot some very important mods for my new car. I was the only one without plaster dipped rims, I needed more vinyl stickers, and I had to get a cold air intake before anything else. I had learned so much. Great success. Let's get down to business. I begin by applying a durable, single-stage, rim-protecting paint, as well as some new vinyls to my windshield. It's time to shop for a cold air intake from a popular online Ford Performance Parts retailer. <coughs> they want $300 for a cone filter, a charge pipe that does nothing, and a piece of plastic to shield from engine heat? Plastic? What a rip. That's like my entire week's paycheck at the Waffle House. Or one Friday night work in the corner of 5th and Main. Let's figure something else out. Begin by removing the four 8mm screws holding your airbox lid on. Then, removing a hose clamp will release the air filter. The air intake pipes from the grill simply pop right out. And the air intake air box adapter comes off with two 8mm screws. Now what's left of the air box will pop right out, and we can carefully trim off the unneeded plastic. You should leave just enough material that the factory cold air intake pipe can still be attached to the air box. Now you can stop right here and have yourself a free cold air intake that's about the same as ones you can buy online. But wait, for $20, I bet we could make something even better than a top-of-the-line cold air intake. It's time to do some digging at my favorite auto parts store. Hmm. Fitness mats. No fitness under my hood, yeah? Now we've got something that'll keep the hot air away. I start by cutting a strip of it about the same width of my old air box. I cut a notch in the heat shield to make sure that the stock cold air pipe has a place to go when I put the heat shield in with the air filter. Once I'm happy with the fitment, it's time to put on some finishing touches. I line the heat shield with aircraft grade aluminum to reflect even more of the heat from the radiator and the engine. Then it's time for final installation. Be sure to tape off the terminals of your fuse box. Some careful finagling will allow you to put the heat shield between what's left of your air box, the air filter, the fuse box in the back, the bumper in the front, and the frame on the side. Be sure that the heat shield is snug and that it's not rubbing on any parts of the suspension or the transmission. Finally, one last piece of foam will allow the cold air intake to seal the air away from the rest of the engine. This will seal against the bottom of the hood and keep hot air from getting in and cold air getting out. Sounds pretty good too. Here you can see how our cold air intake seals when the hood shuts. Fully warmed up. Old temperature up. 12 degrees above ambient. Alright, we're back warmed up again. Old's a little bit hotter this time, but we've only got a 6.4 degree difference. 6.4 degrees between ambient and charge air temperature. It was so stupid it had to work. Those were both taken after sitting at idle for one minute, so colder temperatures, more power. It's so damn frosty that people like, damn, that's a cold ass intake. 